Animals come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and when they're on an island isolated from the mainland, things can get a little strange. For example, they can shrink, but not in the honey I shrunk the kids instantaneous shrink ray type of thing. You know, this gets smaller over generations. And to find out how and why animals on islands shrink, stay tuned with Ants Reptile Colony as we learn about insular dwarfism. The natural world is full with weird and wonderful things, and islands tend to develop some of the stranger ones, such as dwarfism. Insular dwarfism is a reduction in size of large animals over many generations resulting in an average smaller body size compared to their mainland cousins. This is different from the intentional dwarf breeds created by humans. Insular dwarfism is usually seen when large mainland species colonize a small island or an island. Examples include the pygmy hippopotamus, the pygmy mammoth, dwarf Burmese pythons, the Channel Island fox, and Madagascan leaf chameleons, just to name a few. The flip side of the coin is when small animals colonize an island, they tend to then grow larger, known as island gigantism. You can click on the video above here or, or here to learn more about that, but if it's not there yet, it's because I still have to release the video, so just hang in there. There are a number of possible reasons of why these large animals tend to shrink on islands, and one of the reasons is simply that the island doesn't have enough resources to sustain these large-bodied animals. And so the smaller in individuals then tend to survive because they require less resources, resulting in the large individuals to die off. Let's, let's just make a random fun example over here. Our island is going to be represented by a cruise ship, our uh, animal species are going to be represented by a bunch of T-Rexes and our resources are going to be represented by hamburgers because I mean just why not so we've got a bunch of T-Rexes of all sorts of different shapes and sizes all on this cruise ship in the middle of the ocean and they have a bunch of hamburgers already ready on the on the cruise ship and the ship is then also able to produce a small number of hamburgers to produce more food the larger T-Rexes let's say have five hamburgers all the way down in size as a T-Rex go to a T-Rex that needs about half a hamburger to survive. In the beginning, all the T-Rexes get the required amount of hamburgers they need, so everyone survives. But as the time goes on and that initial resource stack starts getting depleted, so those burgers start getting less and less, this cruise ship is not able to produce hamburgers fast enough to make sure that everyone gets the required amount of food. So the T-Rexes that required five hamburgers are now only getting four hamburgers which isn't enough for them to survive, so eventually they die off, leaving only those that can have four hamburgers or less. Eventually the resources get less and less, so that, that only the T-Rexes that require the least number of hamburgers, let's say the smallest T-Rexes that require half a hamburger each, only manage to survive because the others are just not getting enough burgers to survive. Therefore reducing the overall size of the T-Rexes on the boat. So when they have to go look at compared to the T-Rexes on the mainland, which are going to end up being a lot bigger because they have as many hamburgers as they need. And that's the general idea of how insular dwarfism can be affected through resource requirements. The other examples, there could be a lack of predators, which allow the smaller individuals to survive, or the smaller individuals of the species to survive, because the bigger you are, the less likely a predator is going to take you down. Think of a fully grown elephant. There's not too many things that are going to take that thing out. The third possible reason, competition over resources. The bigger you are, the more likely you are to get the resources you require because you're able to fight off all your competitors, but you will need more resources because you are bigger. So if there's less competition because you're smaller, then all the smaller individuals can survive. Think of having, I don't know, let's say we've got a big pie of whatever size, and we put it into a lake of hippos. Only the biggest hippo will be able to eat the pie because it's going to have to fight off all the other hippos. But if you take that same size pie and you put it in a field of for gerbils, let's say, all the gerbils will be able to survive without competing against each other because the pie is big enough to sustain them all. So through competition, you're able to reduce body size on islands. And those are just the three examples so far. Of course, there are a whole bunch of other factors that are taking place at the same time, but I hope that those, like, Fun examples manage to give you some idea of how resources and competition can influence insular dwarfism or the size of animals on an island. But island dwarfism is not necessarily just in an island as we imagine it as a piece of land in the middle of the sea. An island could be an oasis in a desert. 
It could be a cave. It could be the top of a very tall mountain, which means there's definitely a lot more to learn on this topic. And studies are still being conducted today to find out more about this. So I'm quite excited to see what would you come up with. But if you could choose an animal to have a pygmy or a miniature version of, what would it be? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like share it with anyone who you think might be interested. Don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 100. I think we're eight subs away now while I'm recording this video and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all the new content. But until then, click one of the videos here on screen. And remember, it's never too late to learn and I'll catch you in the next one. Because they thought forward, yeah. Please drop a like button, uh, like button.